Tom Snyder. I'm the executive director of Riot. Riot is an industry consortium organization. We're focused on economic development in the technology space. We bring together many corporate partners uh, like IBM, who uh, is hosting us here today, to explore what the possibilities of IoT are, to help kind of market and pr promote those opportunities, and then bring stakeholder groups in that might not understand technology, but their business, their industry, their lives are going to be transformed by this technology. So how do you prepare them for the IoT uh, revolution that's coming uh, and enable success? I would describe the IoT revolution that, that's coming now as a combination of a few technology tipping points. We've reached this point in the last few years where wireless communication has become almost nearly free for, for wide bandwidth uh, communication. Data storage is almost free. Big data processing is almost free. And as these capabilities uh, become easier and easier and more accessible, uh, you're able to do things in markets and applications that maybe didn't look to technology before. Get involved if you're not involved, that, that's a, a starting point. Uh, really need to be creative. The technology stack of IoT goes from nanoscale semiconductor devices all the way up to the cloud and the big analytics and things that a company like IBM provides. You find your place in that stack. Know your core competence really, really well, and then find the partners that can help you to pull the rest of the solution together. Uh, it's very difficult to do everything yourself, and so find partnerships uh, and collaborate. One of the things that uh, I'm really excited about is I get to work with a lot of startup companies. Whenever there's speed in the industry, you have technology changing very, very quickly, uh, it's difficult for large organizations necessarily to adjust. Uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, they can't still be engaged in a high level by working with smaller and nimbler organizations. So Riot runs an organization called Riot Labs where we enable a number of startup companies to work in the space, connect with our big corporate partners, and create uh, kind of the nimbleness that a small entrepreneurial organization can, can have with the power to scale that that our big company partners uh, can provide. IoT is enabling everyone to make smarter and smarter decisions because you have more information faster. So you see that across many, many industries, even in our organization, by tracking everything that we do and then objectively looking at what is that data saying, we get better and better. We help our partners to leverage data. So, so we're kind of a connective tissue organization, if you will. We're, we're conveners, we bring groups together, we build teams, help them understand what are the places that you should be getting that data uh, and what are ways you might look at that data and then fuse that data with other data sets that you might not think of. But, but my job is to help bring the groups together, kind of get them started and then get out of the way. There's a great uh, quote, I, I believe, it, well, I'll, I'll paraphrase, I, I think Bill Gates said that things ha seem to happen really, really slowly in the short term, but when you look over five or 10 years, you see massive tra transformation. I think that things like self-driving cars are coming much more quickly than people think about. So, so two years from now, we'll see and hear more stories, but our lives will feel not that different. But, but in five years, we're going to start to see things really happening autonomously, whether it's vehicles in the street, whether it's inventory control in a store, whether it's automated ordering systems through Amazon or uh, these different services. Uh, and I think when we look back in five years, back to today, we, uh, we won't believe how much has changed. One huge opportunity space is in security. There's a lot of concern around IoT in the privacy and security space. And if you look at most technology revolutions in the past, you know, we developed cars and then later we had seat belts, we had airbags, we had other safety things that came in. So safety and security is a huge growth market. Uh, everything in IoT really still is a growth market, but that's one area where I expect that we're gonna see a lot more tools coming out that's going to enable people to feel more comfortable with the technology and, and uh, let us just enjoy our lives without those concerns. There's a lot of the world that doesn't necessarily need the term IoT, to be honest. It, it, you know, it, it's a buzzword right now, uh, kind of like the word wearable. We have wearables, but eventually we're just going to call them wa watches again. We're going to call them socks. We're not going to call them smart socks. I think um, in the IoT space, 
there is a segment of the world that's maybe not talking about it or not understanding it because they're just thinking of it in a different term. So I'm not sure if that completely answers your question, but that's, I think, a, a perspective. The technology has to fade into the background of our lives. We need to have it where uh, we aren't just looking down at a screen. Something is happening in an augmented or in, in an easier way. So a, as the technology kind of fades into the background, it gets integrated into our lifestyle, uh, then we'll be past the IoT buzzword.